Hey, welcome to the episode of Beers Jack and Barbecue. Check out the sear on these. Hey, I'm Craig, the man behind the camera's Jack. Today we've got the Kimono Joe fired up, got a new accessory, got a soapstone. So I want to blame James from Smoking Dad Barbecue for me having to purchase that because I saw him doing some searing on some steaks. But we got two of our favorites here, just some two nice prime ribeyes. These are part of the ones that, again, we mentioned before on one of the shoots that we cut steaks out of an entire prime rib. So these are coming out about an inch thick, inch and a quarter thick. So I'm going to do them reverse sear. I'm only going to have them on a little bit um, on the reverse side because we don't want to, I want to put a good sear on these things. So that's the plan. Season them um, about eight hours ago with Pit Patriots. As you know, we're affiliated Pit Patriots. This is the all purpose seasoning. Depending on when this comes out, we've used it before, but it's just that good that I got to have it on a steak. So looking forward to searing these things off on the soapstone on the Komodo Joe. All right, gonna throw the steaks on. Now you can see I have it set up as indirect over here and I got the soapstone on top here. I only got it running around 275 right now. Like I said, I just want to bring them up. I am going to probe one just so we kind of get an idea. But once it reaches about 80, we're going to start searing these things off. Because again, we want medium rare to the rare side. So you won't see it on camera, but I'll probe one of these and we'll keep an eye out. We'll bring you back. All right, so we just hit 80. That's kind of our target to kind of see what it, where they're at. Like I said, basically I'm just warming them up at this point. So I'm going to pull them off now, get the Komodo Joe fired up, uh, or fired up, cranked up, so we can do some searing. So I'm going to let these set and get the Komodo Joe up to temperature. All right, so we've got the Komodo Joe running around close to 500, and I just read the stone with my gun, and it's um, around 600 degrees. Just hit these with some olive oil, and now we're just going to hopefully get a nice sear. I'll let those go a good minute and we'll flip them over. All right, just been just over a minute or so. Seem to be searing kind of nice here. Oh yeah. I was worried I wouldn't have it hot enough, so let this go another minute. We'll check them out. All right, just want to take a reading on them. Getting a low reading there, so hang on one sec. All right, let's get a reading on them. 101. 118. I'm going to flip them quick. I'm going to double check that other side. Oh, yeah. This one is slightly thicker. It might be ready for this one to come off. Yeah, it's going to rest a little further. That's going to be about the same. I'm going to pull these off and then we'll let them rest and we'll see you in the cutting board. They look perfect. As always, cheers. All right, here we are into the cook. Two prime ribeyes. Hit them with Pit Patriots, all purpose season. Like I said, super balanced. I can't say enough about how balanced that is. Had them on the Kimono Joe just for about 20, 25 minutes, brought them up to about 80 degrees, took them off, had the Kimono Joe running at that point around 275, let the Kimono Joe come up to almost 500 degrees on the soapstone, and just put some a little bit of olive oil on here and started searing them off. Man, did that sear work out nice. I can't wait to try cut into this and see how it looks inside. Running from a perfect medium or medium rare to almost rare side, so we'll see how I did after the rest, but let's cut into this and, uh, so I can get a bite of it. I purposely let the piece of fat on there. Let's say a nice medium rare, um, just to see how that handled it on the soapstone, but won't be eating that, that big piece, but I kept it on to see how it would cook. Nice.
That got a nice, almost a crust of a sear is what I've always been shooting for. Flavor of this is great. Steak is great, so it's a little cold. We're going to try to break down here as fast as we can so we can eat. So hopefully like you're seeing, subscribe to the channel, click the little bell to get notifications, and we'll see you next time.